Some of you might think that the Armenian Trilogy movie is devoted particularly to a genocide of one and a half million Armenian souls being lost. Well, as a matter of fact, those of you who have seen it have remarked very often that there's a lot of funny parts of this film. And I think I want to apprise you of that so that uh, you might find a different slant on this whole thing. You know, every parent in every generation wants what's best for their kids. Well, when my mother and her family fled from Constantinople because of the impending Armenian genocide, they boarded the slow boat to Cuba, of all places, because there was an assumption that there was a bridge which would bring them to the promised land, the United States of America. Well, after 20 some odd days on the water, excitement was peaking, and after all, they would finally find their freedom, a freedom away from the tyranny of the Turkish Ottomans. Upon arrival in Havana, they tried looking for the bridge. Where was this bridge? What kind of a bridge was this? that was spanned 90 miles from Cuba to the United States. Was it something like the Ambassador Bridge? Or perhaps like the Golden Gate Bridge? What kind of a bridge could hold up for 90 miles? Well, you can imagine the disappointment when they found out that the bridge didn't exist. It did not exist, it wasn't there. My grandfather didn't find this to be funny at all. Not funny. There were many Armenians that were equally misinformed, so that there was a whole colonization of Armenians on the island of Cuba. My mother and her family ended up living in Cuba for 16 years, learning fluent Spanish and soaking up the culture. When my brother and I were misbehaving in our youth years later, we would hear the torrent of Spanish swear words flying through the air, along with many a shoe that were aimed at our heads. You might think I'm daffy, but I think that's kind of funny. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? 